Welcome back to Fox and Friends. We've been telling you about the Bank of America finally gave in to some angry critics and pulled the plan for that $5 monthly fee to use your debit card. But that didn't stop thousands of fed up consumers this weekend who declared war on these big banks and pulled their money out in protest for bank transfer day. Yesterday, they went to banks to stop nickel and diming them with extra fees. They went to a lot of credit unions. Joining us now is Ed Butowski. He's a wealth manager and financial advisor. And uh, good morning to you, Ed. I guess more fees in other ways are headed our way? Well, look, Clayton, what's important to know is banks have always been out there making a lot of money. People just haven't focused in on it. Right. But this is nothing new. I mean, banks, think about it. Think about how, how many banks there are. I mean, they're there because they make a lot of money, and, and, and that's why we're going to see more and more uh, you know, fees coming, because they're being attacked as well. The Dodd-Frank bill is one of the reasons we're seeing a lot of this. It costs banks more money to do business. People are now are becoming more aware of these fees, right. and as a result, we're having discussions like this. Okay, so let's get into some of the specifics, because if that's, that $5 debit card fee goes away from Bank of America, other things are popping mm -hmm. up in other areas, like eliminating free checking accounts. Let's start there. So we're going to be eliminating free checking accounts now? Well, well, that that has been going on. It's been going down for quite some time. And again, that was another one. That was really an illusion. People thought they were getting free checking, but what was happening is the money that was there at the bank was being used. They were being paid very little on that. Now they're realizing they can't pay that much less, so they're just going to get rid of free checking altogether. Something else too: record highs for having a balance in your account. I mean, even Bank of America was toying with yeah. the idea of having a twenty thousand dollar balance in your checking account, so you wouldn't get a five dollar fee. So, are we going to see more of these balance required? fees? Yeah, but every, every single one of these things is going to happen. We're going to see the balances go higher because how much money they can make on that money is certainly going lower. So they've got to find a way. They have shareholders to report to. They're in a for-profit business. These are not non-for-profit organizations. They want and need to make money. Let's talk about some uh, eliminating debt reward programs. Those are, you know, people yes. get those cards on purpose. So debt reward programs are going to be going away, a 30% decline we've, we're seeing. It, that, that is what's happening and this one annoys me the most probably because I love getting free stuff even though I know it's not free I think it's free right and uh, I, I'll sit there and buy things just so I can get a little you know canvas bag sometimes uh, so, you know, a little <laughs> bit of bag. a game but, but <laughs> yeah we're, we do it we all do it say so, yeah, right. oh, if I just buy a couple more things I can get that bag it's true and then there's also increases in one-off fees such as wire transfer and safety deposit boxes and those are annoying right it's like a yep. $15 fee you want to transfer money it really doesn't cost them anything right. it's digital right well, it's digital, but they do it. I mean, it's just like the airlines. When I want to make a transfer on um, any kind of uh, you know ticket that I have, it costs me one hundred and fifty dollars. Banks are picking up on the same idea. They have somebody who has to do it. They have to pay that person a salary, even though you and I both know it costs them nothing uh, to do it. They're going to keep charging for it because again, they want to make money. So we'll get through a few more of these, and then I want to get your take on this whole pull your money out of the big bank story that's been making news this weekend with the credit unions. But here sure. are some other fees that we associate: fee on assets uh, that they hold or manage, or and yeah, fees on pensions one. and trusts. To take those two for us, Ed. Yeah. Yeah, Clayton, Clayton, this is one that people really don't know a lot about, but sometimes you might have your, your investments at a bank. It could be a brokerage firm as well. And what they're doing is they're charging an account fee. It's called an investment fee on your account, or excuse me, a management fee. They might be charging you 1%. For the money you have in money market, they're only paying you 10% of 1%. So you're losing 90% of what you're being charged on that account. So if you're being charged 1%, you're only making 10 basis points. Mm. That's something everyone should pick up the phone tomorrow and call up their bank or their brokerage firm and say, stop charging me 1% on my money market balance. To me, that is, it's shoplifting, but I think it's almost criminal that they're doing that. And not to mention the fact that it's not even keeping up with inflation. So if you're not keeping up with that 3% inflation, no. you're almost paying them money every year to, 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 to manage your, your money market account. Also, let's That's touch right. on this, which is what unfolded this weekend, of course, taking your money bank transfer day, taking your money out of the big banks and putting them into credit unions. It seemed like a big mm -hmm. success online. They had a lot, of, over 80,000 people joining up on this Facebook group, if I'm not mistaken, but many, many more joined up and, and to do this. What do you make of this? And is that a smart move, putting your money in credit unions? I think I think it's fine. I think the whole, you know, the I think the whole discussion is a good one. We all need to know exactly what we're being charged on our money. And if we look at it and now we're starting to really have this, you know, a very important discussion is how much money is slowly being taken out of my account and if I'm not comfortable with the services my bank's providing for me for what I'm paying them, then I'll move somewhere. 
a lot of people didn't even know you know they could they could actually go to these credit unions but if you think that that's a good and viable alternative to paying those fees you do it yeah, interesting. Are there any limitations on getting into a credit union? I know that a few years ago, I was a member of a credit union in my first job, uh, but it was I felt because of the job I had, I was able to get in. Well, there are there are some that are set up just for those businesses. There's other credit unions that are you know set up for other reasons. You should investigate it. Look at the fees. Look at the services because you know not all banks are bad. Banks provide yeah. some very good services, and if you're willing to pay for it, pay for it. But that's why we live in this country. We have choices, and we should all make those choices. But do it with uh, with a clear eye and a good visibility as to what your fees are. And if that's what you want to do, you go do it. Do I think this was a big success? Of course not. I think yeah. it, you know, there's a lot of discussion radar. about it, but, but it, it doesn't really you know, make a big impact on these banks. Well, we're talking about it, so we brought some awareness to uh, having the big media talk about it. Which actually. is a good Ed, thing. Yeah, Which actually, is a good you're right thing. about it that. Really we're tired of being nickel and dime. Ed Butowski, great to see you this morning. Thanks That's so right. much for getting up early with us.